So typically, whenever a game receipts hate, it's usually either because the game is unfinished or we were lied to or simply put it, the expectations were disappointing to say the least. However, this game received hate not because it was disappointing or it was unfinished or it was missing features, but all because of one woman and her beliefs. Let's talk about Hogwarts Legacy. For the past couple of weeks, a game by the name of Hogwarts Legacy has been circling around Twitter and the internet, not because of how good it is or because of how amazing the gameplay looks, but because it is coming from an IP created by this woman, yes, JK Rowling herself. Now, if you don't know J.K. Rowling, oh man, you are a blessed individual if you don't know who that is. But to give a quick rundown of why people hate J.K. Rowling. So on one side, J.K. Rowling has ruined the franchise for a lot of people because she has claimed that Dumbledore is gay, that Hermione is black in the books, even though she's been, you know, stated as being white. And really she, what she's done for the franchise is that she's gone back and sort of edited you know, some things about the books and the movies, only these aren't official edits. These are unofficial edits that she made on her Twitter. And yeah, it ruins the movie a lot for people, for fans of the franchise. However, on the other side of the spectrum, the one that really pissed off a lot of people is her comments towards trans people. One of these being that sex isn't real. The second one being being whatever this fucking article that she wrote or essay whatever you want to call it i i seriously tried reading this i i cannot for the life of me understand what this crazy kook is trying to say but basically you get the gist is that she's made some comments towards trans people and also ruined the franchise for other fans now Recently, a game was announced called Hogwarts Legacy, and at the time of me recording this video, the game is already out, and when the game was announced and released, uh, a lot of people weren't happy. They were first, they were boycotting and saying that, you know, nobody should buy this game because of uh, JK Rowling's, you know, transphobic comments, which is fine, you know, you don't like the creator, you don't want to support the project, it's all fine, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um... Again, this is the internet, and uh, we forgot how they react, and uh, yeah, they didn't react in the very nicest way when people actually played the game on stream, as uh, they literally bullied an innocent Twitch streamer, who, mind you, isn't in the whole commentary or political space, just a normal Twitch streamer, just a game reviewer, who wanted to have a good time with the game and experience it, uh, was met with a lot of back and uh, I'm just gonna roll the clip of how that turned out. It's not good enough that you're doing the charity. It, you know, like, there, there's no... We're just playing a video no, game, man. There's like, no way for us to be correct in everyone's eyes. So, like, please just let us do our thing and you can disagree or agree with us if you want. Yeah, like, damn. Like, it, it's just a video game. And she didn't fucking sit down and make this game herself. And I'm not even sure if every single copy, like, any money goes to her. We've expressed millions of times, fuck her. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you do you... Do you like turn off like Billy Jean or beat it in the car when Michael Jackson comes on? Like, do you you know like maybe? But do, that, do you not think that the, that it's the like... pianist, the, like the, the pianist, has wonderful lessons? You know, and is a, is a great movie despite but, like what but, Roman Polanski did. But regardless like, of that, it's just like there there's no and this way. This is so to much a, more disconnected. Than there's those no things. way to be a perfect ally to everyone, and we're trying. And and I know we're not perfect allies, and we could be better. But we're doing something, and I feel like maybe that should be encouraged and not discouraged, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. maybe be happy that Dude, we're, like, we're doing something. And I'm not asking for praise, but I'm asking not to be attacked, okay? Yeah. So maybe we do switch it. We already have target on our uh, targets on our back for being allies. So it, it doesn't, I don't like that now people are like coming and saying that we're not allies when we've like, very much stood up for what is right like just like with last of us two and it shit. basically ruined our channel yeah it yeah like dude do you know how many reports we got and how many uns, like, people unsubscribed and like, like you can look at and our then, channel and then the, the nightmare we've been going through since we since we like became very vocal about our support for the lgbt community with last of us and and shit and now you're going to come in here because we're trying to review harry potter which jk rowling she didn't like fucking do anything with this mm -hmm. she just sold her license and you're going to fucking tell us, you know, it's like you can't win, man. So it's like we're in sub. Sorry, I'm 
Yeah, this sucks. It <laughs> sucks. The chat is just so toxic. It's like, it's a bummer, dude. It's, it's just a game, man. It's just a video game. However, they took it a step further as they made a website to find out who is playing the game either on Twitch, YouTube, or any platform. Now, luckily, the website itself is down, at least at the time of me recording this, but it just shows how fucking deranged these people are. It's so stupid to think that they can cause any damage by boycotting this game because, let's keep in mind, these movies and books came out decades ago, so JK Rowling already made her money back, and also, the IP is worth 15 billion. 15 billion! In a franchise that was released decades ago where JK Rowling already made her money from the books, the tie-in games with the movies, the movies itself, and the merch, boycotting this game isn't going to hurt her in any way, nor does it even matter if it's successful or it's a failure. She already made her money. If anything, this game is just pocket change to her. So really, the only people who lose in this situation are developers and fans of the franchise, especially the fans who've been wanting a good Harry Potter game for the past decade, as a lot of people have said that this game is pretty good, and from the looks of it, it does look good and fun. Not to mention, also, a lot of Twitch streamers are refusing to play this game because they don't want to deal with the backlash that they're going to get from these lunatics, which sucks, especially for a game that's good. Do you think people will get mad at you for playing the Hogwarts game? Yeah, I might actually end up not playing it because these things are fucking popping off. I was thinking of buying it and then fundraising for like every, like every fucking, every time I play it, fundraising for, well, not buying it, but you know, buying it and then fundraising for trans lifeline and, and numerous other charities, like numerous other trans charities. But I feel like, I feel like people will be very upset. Wait, why is this game controversial? It's controversial because, uh, it's controversial because it's fucking JK Rowling, even though like she, it's her IP, right? And she is a gigantic fucking turf. But I just, I truly feel like the backlash that will come of this is just not worth it because goddamn trans posters can be very, very, very unhinged. And, uh, God forbid, you don't want them coming. Because they're not going to go after fucking Nazis and shit. They're going to go after me if I play it. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, fuck you. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Don't know if you know this, but the lead creative was a pro Gamergate YouTuber. I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just, yeah. Yeah, there's... Uh, guys, you are never going to get me. You're never going to convince me that, like, a piece of art should not be consumed because the creator was problematic. Like, I, I just, I don't... I, I don't live like that. I, I don't know. I don't know why you think I'm going to behave that way. I'm just not. That's never going to happen. Like, I don't care. I, at least I'm being honest. You don't, you probably don't care either. Especially because, like, in 98% of the circumstances, you don't even fucking know that there's a problematic person that was involved in the making of this artwork. Of course. Of course it was. It sort of begs the question, where was this outrage for when Blizzard and Activision were exposed for their shitty work environment? I mean, literally a woman was sexually harassed and she ended up taking her own life because there was no way out. That's just terrible. Yet there was no outrage for this like there is this. It just shows that people are willing to get mad over someone making some stupid comment about something they have no idea about. Yet, when it comes to someone actually committing suicide over a problem that is still persistent in most work environments, whether it be gaming, film, or any kind of work environment, it's just complete silence. Nobody cares, everyone talks about it for maybe a day or two and they just move on. No boycotting, no, I guess, you know, putting Activision or Blizzard on the cross, none of that. Just silence and that's it. It's just sad and it's honestly fucking disgusting. Now, I haven't bought the game, nor do I really want to, nor do I care, because simply put it, this whole situation is just stupid on both sides of the spectrum, to be quite honest. People who are buying the game, I mean, alright, you're having a good time, go ahead, but like, just to like, buy it so you can spite the other team, the other side, it, it's retarded. And then the people who are saying not to buy this game, they're also retarded, just more, more brain dead. But yeah, I'm not gonna be bothering to buy this game just because I'm not gonna pay what 50 40 dollars for this game i'm just not and i'll only play it on stream if it's free on game pass then i'll play it but yeah
anyways thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos and with that being said i am out